intrinsic sympathetic activity. What is that and how does it work? Some beta blockers cause presynaptic increased norepinephrine release while preventing norepinephrine release from the binding sites of the receptors. So they have some sympathetic activity. So they are both agonist and antagonist due to intrinsic sympathomimetic activity. Examples are Nemonix is CLAP2, C-L-A-P, C for Celiprolol, L for Labetalol, A for Acebutalol, and 2 P's for pindolol and penbutalol. So these are the beta blockers with intrinsic sympathetic activity which increase noradrenaline or norepinephrine release at the presynaptic membrane. These partial agonists or those which have intrinsic sympathetic activity have less effect on the heart and they have more peripheral effects. They cause vasoconstriction. So alpha receptor stimulation leads to vasoconstriction and the vasoespasitive activity causes coronary spasm. So decreasing the blood supply to the heart causing angina and myocardial infarction. What are the advantages of beta blockers without intrinsic sympathetic activity? Beta blockers without intrinsic sympathetic activity decrease the rate of sudden death, decrease the overall mortality and they decrease the recurrent myocardial infarction in patients with CCF, congestive cardiac failure. So these are the beta blockers without intrinsic sympathetic activity. Examples are propranolol, sotalol and Fimolols. So what's the difference between hydrophilic and lipophilic beta block? The lipophilic beta blockers cross the blood-brain barrier and their toxicity is increased in liver failure. The examples of lipophilic beta blockers are propranolol, metoprolol and cardiolol. Whereas hydrophilic beta blockers, they don't cross the blood-brain barrier and their toxicity is increased in renal failure. An example of hydrophilic beta blockers are atinolol and nadolol. So lipophilic blockers, they cross blood-brain barrier and toxicity increased in liver failure. Whereas hydrophilic blockers, they don't cross blood-brain barrier and the toxicity increased in renal failure. Why beta blockers decrease mortality in cardiac patients? Number one, they decrease the size of the infarct and prevent reinfarction. And number two, due to local anesthetic effect, they have membrane stabilizing effect, especially that of the propranolol. The other beta blockers that have membrane stabilizing effects are the pneumonixis arm, P-A-L-M, P for pindolol, a for acebutalol, L for labetalol, and M for metoprolol. So these are the beta blockers that have membrane stabilizing effect.